Hi, good morning everybody, how are you? My name is attorney Charles Zavala here from beautiful Houston, Texas, and our law firm is called Zavala Texas Law. Uh, we do immigration, criminal, and a little bit of business claims. Today I have a video regarding immigration, mostly about uh, questions people have about green card, right? So something I get asked a lot about people, or by people, who are here in the USA is, well, I'm married to a US citizen, right? Or I'm married to a green card holder. Can I get my green card, right? So that's a very good question because a lot of people are under the presumption that if you are married to a US citizen or married to someone who's a green card holder, that they can then themselves become a green card holder. And yes, that is true, right? But for the, for the purpose of this video, we're gonna talk about people who are already in the USA who are now married to a US citizen or a green card holder, okay? So I'm gonna divide it into two categories, okay? The first category is going to be is, Oh, I'm sorry, and to explain all of these, you are married to a U.S. citizen, right? Let's assume you are married to a U.S. citizen, not a green card holder, married to a U.S. citizen. So person one, if they are here in this country um, and they entered undocumented, right? If they entered illegally without the government's permission and then they are married to a U.S. citizen, yes, we can apply for a green card, right? Um, the process, though, is going to be different than from somebody who entered the country legally. So let's just pretend you have uh, me, right? Let's say I came in from Paraguay undocumented. I crossed over illegally without the government's permission, and then I married my wife, who's a U.S. citizen. She can do a petition for me. That's the, the number one step to get your green card. Once that petition gets approved, though, unless I qualify for one of the exceptions under the law, I have to go back to my country of Paraguay and continue my process there because the U, when I entered illegally, the U.S. government never gave me permission to come in. Therefore, I cannot get the benefit of applying for a green card here. So I would have to get that petition, but not only that, I would often have to get what's called a waiver, right? And a waiver is essentially, um, it's a forgiveness, right? I would have to be asking the government for forgiveness for entering illegally and ask them to not uh, punish me for being here illegally. Normally, if you are here um, undocumented and you've been here for a while and you leave the USA, you get hit with a 10-year ban, which means you can't come to the USA for 10 years. But that's not good, right? I want to see my wife. She's in the USA. So we have to ask for a waiver. And to apply for a waiver, you have to show that your spouse, US citizen spouse or child is going to suffer extreme hardship, right? If you are not granted that. Assuming we can get that petition approved, the waiver approved, then you're at the last step is what you have to do, the NVC, National Visa Center, it's a consulate. So you'd have to go back to your host country, I would go back to Paraguay, and I would have to go to an interview there. If everything's approved, then I can now enter the USA and I will receive my green card, okay? That's one option. That's if you entered the country without uh, permission. The other option is, let's pretend, once again, I am from Paraguay, but I came in with a tourist visa or a student visa or some side, sort of a visa that is what's called a dual intent. Uh, there's a list of those. If you guys want, I can talk about it. Um, if you're not sure if you have a dual intent visa, a quick Google search should be able to tell you. But let's pretend I entered with a tourist visa and then I married my wife, right? And she's a US citizen. I could then apply for everything. The petition, I wouldn't need the waiver because I wouldn't have to leave the country, and the green card. I could do all of that in the USA and I never have to leave. That is a really big advantage compared to the other guy who has to leave the country, right? So here the biggest thing is the government's going to look at the last time you entered the USA was it a lawful entrance, right? If you did have a lawful entrance, doesn't matter if you overstayed your visa or your last time you entered the country was 10 years ago and you've been out of status the entire time, as long as you entered legally, then you will be able to do what's called adjustment of status here in the USA. So if you are watching this video and you find that you are married to a US citizen, put yourself in one of those categories. Did you come here undocumented or did you come here uh, with a visa or something. If you came undocumented, yes, we can still help you. The process may be a little longer and may take a little um, a little bit more legwork, but we do this all the time. The other option is if you entered legally, then you should be able to do everything while you are here, okay? So I hope that kind of clarifies because sometimes I have people call me who say that they heard this on the news or some of their friend told them this. I mean, as much as I know, and I would love to help everybody get their green card while they're here, unless you entered legally, you will not be able to do everything here in the USA. You're going to have to go back to your host country.
okay so marinate on that if you guys have any questions or would like to uh, talk about it or see if you're eligible or if you'd like to apply for your green card please give us a call 832-819-3723 or you can select um, depending on what social media platform you're on you can uh, book your own appointment with us and it'll be a phone consultation with me okay so I hope you have a beautiful day my name is Charles Zavala if you need anything please feel free to reach out have a great day bye bye